Good morning, everybody. Welcome back to Selenix Crypto. I hope you're all doing great, and welcome to this new video on the, on Dogecoin. Um, had to make an update on this. I uh, like I said yesterday, I'll maybe cover this daily as as long as Dogecoin stays bullish like it is right now. Um, but definitely wanted to do an update today because what what, what we managed to do yesterday and to, also over the course of um, over well, actually, it was when did this happen? And the biggest move was actually at the at, at the end of the U.S. session, start of the Asian session. The the Asian session so far today has been relatively bullish. But what we saw yesterday in combination with today, this morning, etc., um, it's just a textbook breakout. All right, uh, we already broke out right here on on Wednesday, and we talked about that on Wednesday as well. Uh, and I I said I was quite bullish on that. Um, and that I expected the breakout to hold. And you can see this this blue line right here, that's the value area high. So historically, a lot of volume is traded at that level. So breaking above that, which by the way, that's, that whole area around it is also a, a confirmed resistance level in general, as you can see in, in the past, it's quite respected. So breaking above that with volume, with momentum, which we both uh, have and had, because you can see that the momentum is still very, very high right now. Um, usually that holds. And then yesterday what we saw is a, is, a, is a perfect retest of that value area high. So at the moment, I, I cannot be anything but bullish on Dogecoin. Uh, fundamentally, obviously, and, and we talked about that on, on Wednesday as well, fundamentally, which, what, what's pushing this is Trump rising in the odds and then every everything regarding the affiliation of Donald Trump, Elon Musk and, and some sort of a potential role of Elon Musk in the in the US government. Um, that's all very bullish for Dogecoin. I mean, whether it's 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 really going to be bu bullish for Dogecoin, probably not. But it, it's speculation, all right? And it's speculation when the markets are quite bullish. Uh, Dogecoin has a ton. I mean, if, if we actually want to, if, if, if we want to uh, get some retail back into crypto, Dogecoin is very, very well known among uh, among retail. Um, and it hasn't rallied, rallied much compared to other meme coins. While meme coins have been very, very strong in the last month, right? So there's plenty of reasons to be bullish on Dogecoin right here. And I think right now it's confirmed with the, with the technicals. Um, the most difficult question, though, regarding Dogecoin in my eyes is, uh, all right, well, I, I bought, and I, I said this on Wednesday as well, I bought right here at like 12.2 cents, right? So at the moment, I think it's up like 10%. Um, I put quite a lot of money in, so that's that's a decent gain. Um, but the main, the big question is, and that's also the main question I'm struggling with right now, is that, all right, under the current circumstances, I mean, Bitcoin is certainly bullish, but we haven't really seen a pullback. I'm a little bit afraid of a pullback. So how high can Dogecoin go? Because at the moment, we're, we're obviously very bullish, all right? We, we have the volume, we have the momentum, we got a major bullish breakout, and now we also uh, broke above this resistance level right here at 12.8 and 13 cents, which we first of all respected as a resistance. So that's a respected key level. So right now, is, uh, everything is bullish. Um, but then the question remains, how high can we go? So for now, I do expect us maybe with a pullback into 12.8, 13 cents, I do expect us to get into 14, 14 and a half cents. Um, but for now, that is very much my, my first target. You can see historically, that's quite a strong resistance level. So we're going to need a lot of momentum uh, to push through. And the open interest for Dogecoin has already increased by, by that much, um, going from on the 16th of October, 3.5 to now 5.1 billion. That's I don't think we can break out above that level hopefully we can all right but i don't think we can without some sort of a reset all right so i, I think we can go there on the short term but then i do think we will consolidate uh, for 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 a little bit longer and then maybe a little bit shorter ahead of the election we can actually break out above that and reach into 16 17 cents uh, which would be my um which would be my next price target. but uh, but those are kind of my thoughts on dogecoin for now so short term I am still bullish on Dogecoin. I don't think we're going to get that major uh, bullish breakout, though. I think it's more likely that we will uh, settle down a bit uh, more after that uh, after that initial bullish impulse, I expect. So those are my thoughts. That's what I think you need to know for now. If you do have any questions, let me know down in the comments. But for now, thank you for watching. Uh, have a great day and bye.